Namaste, love and light. Starseeds, I hope all is well with you guys. I seen y'all my love and light abundance and prosperity. I heard scions, okay? So my scions are here. My beautiful scions. Oh, look, you are inspiration, scions. I'm going to call y'all scions today. My uh, scion starseeds, you guys are, are inspiration. Like, you inspire others to want to tap in and figure out who they are on a spiritual level okay what i tap into and i tell you guys your fairies you have you know cosmic dna this is all spiritual and the spirit definitely does matter in this physical realm because the spirit is what helped navigate us that discernment comes from the spirit it don't come from no physical source it comes from a spiritual source so keep following your spiritual light Keep following that spiritual light because it's a huge inspiration for the world. Okay, go ahead. But hey, you got to keep your space clean. I don't want no messy space, Amani. I'm serious. I don't want to see no craziness. Your light is inspiring, and it's and it's meant for the whole world to see. You really stand out. Some of y'all gonna be pregnant, like you gonna be like, like when you pregnant, it's like your light gonna, you like you know you glow when you are pregnant. So I feel like you're gonna be glowing a lot when you pregnant. You could have glowed a lot in your past pregnancies and any future pregnancies you're gonna have if you want children. You're gonna be glowing. That baby within you is just gonna help you shine. Like that baby is gonna be like, you know, giving you that love. Okay, I'm getting motherly love, like. It's like your baby going to feel the love already from you. And it's going to give you so much love back. Like a huge bundle of joy. An earth angel baby. All right, a scion baby here. Okay, what is this? It's like a, a cosmic baby. But I'm seeing like cosmic. Oh, my gosh. Cosmic flowing. Cosmic flows within your womb. Oh, my gosh. Hold on. Because I'm just seeing cosmic waters flowing within your womb that is that amniotic fluid right that's within the um the sac okay all right i see spiritual waters there okay that baby's going to be cradled in that belly that's why you know the babies love the womb because it's like they're already being cradled as we walking around you know that's them being rocked back and forth so that's why when babies come out the womb they like to be rocked back and forth right pat on the back and stuff all right and i feel like some of you guys may be a midwife or maybe you're like a truly inspiring midwife or you could be inspiring others to be a midwife or go towards like the midwife path okay instead of going to the hospitals and stuff like that you guys are earth angels and i see you guys giving birth to more earth angels like more baby you're gonna be popping more babies for some of you guys that's the damn truth that's within your akasha definitely meant to have more children with someone out there take out resonate if y'all want kids this is for you and i see like all your children even the ones that you have now okay if you have children now they're they're going to be earth angels or they are yeah what a whole family whole lineage a whole bloodline okay with this 10 of coins you guys work really hard for your legacy to build it there's definitely spiritual inheritance that you know about this could even be some physical inheritance i talked about that okay i feel like it's all secure oh wow y'all do got depressed that people following you watching you trying to come back into your energy but you're healing you're blocking all that energy y'all you're blocking all that karmic nonsense out Darcy. it's like i feel like somebody got like karmic energy attached to them that makes them being like that devil energy okay I feel like somebody's mind is confused. Somebody's trying to stir up confusion. Somebody got a whole bunch of confusion in their head and they're trying to project that onto you. But you see all this beautiful energy we were just talking about. This is why this person's coming in this low vibrational energy because you in high vibration and they in low vibration. They clearly got to be in low vibration for them to even want to stir up all this nonsense. But let's see what else is going to come out. You guys are inspiration. You guys are inspiring. You guys are manifesting your dreams. That's another thing that makes you so in inspirational. All right, so inspiring is that you guys are following your dreams, okay? Some of you guys, I'm getting romantic dreams. A lot of you guys, you're manifesting your, your person, all right? Your king of cups, your emperor, all right? I'm seeing that somebody wants you, like, 
unalive. I'm feeling it. It's all because you manifesting and shifting and good energy into your life and onto the planet too. It's like your your walking light. So it's like you're a grid worker, you guys. So you guys are just naturally, you know, shifting the energies around you. You're just shifting it into light. It's like, and I'm seeing new earth being built. New earth is being built, okay? Not everyone can see this, but it is. All right, you guys are a part of that. I talked about you guys are being new earth builders. A part of that, your whole entire bloodline, your whole legacy is built up upon, I guess, new earth, okay? The world, you guys are going to achieve this dream. This dream is going to come true. It's already like set in stone for you. It's, and I see it in the stars. You learned your lessons. See, this is how you was able to gravitate towards your life purpose. Open up your heart to your higher self, your soul being, okay? Your true self, your authentic self, even your shadow. It's because you learned your lessons. You completed a lot of lessons and it was very successful because you learned the lessons. You chose to learn. Even if it took you some time, that's just how long the contract was. If it, if, if it was seven years, eight years, ten years, that's just how long the contract was. That's how long it took for you to grow on a soul level. It takes time. But it's a part of our experience and our journey. And once we come out of that long cycle, we don't accumulate so much growth. We don't even have to worry about carrying that into our new cycle because we don't learn and we know we're going to attract bigger and better than before. The sun, this is your new beginning. You have a new beginning. I see happiness in, look, it says 10. All right, completion, success, and endeavor, results of true will. All right, with this true will, I'm getting like <laughs> free will here. It's like, with, it's like whatever you're doing, it's going gonna, it's gonna to manifest, okay? It's like, with that true, I'm getting authentic as well. It's like you guys are like putting in like true hard work. It's like authentic hard work. All right, I'm going to look into true will because that's the first time I heard of that. But there's a will, okay, as well with some inheritance in tied into it for you guys. Well, that's talking about for you guys, a will for you. <laughs> Oh, wow. It says it is defined either as a person's grand destiny in life or as a moment-to-moment -moment path of action that operates in Hell. perfect harmony with nature. Hell, yeah, this is true will. Like this is, this is like naturally unfolding for you, this new beginning, this new life. It's supposed to manifest, okay? This is not only just because of your grand destiny. We talked about that grand new beginning, right? But I feel like, you know... This is meant to happen because you guys learned the lessons and you guys chose to go a, a, a new path, to walk a new path. And you guys set boundaries. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, a thousand. You, none of y'all could come. All those people, they can't come. They can't come. Take a how resonant, how many people it is. They cannot come, period. They are in some deep competition. They're angry. They're mad because they see you still taking a leap of faith here. You guys are still doing what you're doing. But some, for some of you guys, somebody's mad because you're still tapping into the past life. Or you can still see into the past life or their past here. You're seeing into their past. All right, somebody could be mad because I'm tapping into the past life, okay? You guys are happy, though. You're not worrying about this stubborn energy. And I feel like you guys are being stubborn when it comes down to keeping those walls and barriers up. You're not letting certain people come in, even if they threaten you. They could be threatening your life because you don't want to let them back in. Yeah, they acting real childish. Somebody's working with the spirits, okay? And they're acting childish with the spirits here. All right, I'm 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 not going to allow this person to mess up our energy. I feel like you guys are in, like, childlike energy. All right, it's like you are expressing your creativity, your inner child. All right, it's like you could be, like, somebody could be saying you're expressing yourself, like, childishly. All right, even, I feel like some of you guys could be, like, being funny. All right, like, saying a joke and this person's taking it seriously and saying you're being childish. Like, they're taking the fun or the joke out of it or they're taking the, the spark. The passion out of whatever it is you're doing, even the creativity and trying to make it seem like it's bad or they're trying to turn it dull, gray. Like, this could be a gray, a tall gray. This person could be tall, okay? You could be tall, okay? But I, I'm i getting like this person could be a tall gray. And, and those are, what I read in my, my deck, they could be like a bit like uncertain. It looks sad and depressed. Yeah, I feel like this person got a lot of energy attached to them and they're like trying to run from it. They're hurt. They're trying to run from their pain. They don't want to admit to their pain. They don't want to admit to their past, their shadows. They're trying to run from their shadows. They're trying to block it out as much as possible. I'm getting as soon as possible. They want something to manifest quickly. They want the ancestors to make something hurry up and manifest in, in your life. That's like, this is something bad that's supposed to happen. They're trying to manifest something bad in your life and it's not going to work. 
It's like they don't think you connected with the spirits. I, I see your higher self already talked with the spirits about whatever this karmic is trying to do to, you know, and they trying to send something energetically to end your life. All right. And, and cause some confusion around your divine counterpart. And, and all that energy is on them. You protect it. They don't want this good energy to come in. All the good energy that we talked about, your manifestations, your dreams, they trying to stop that. These are like little evil, like predators reptilian predators that is trying to steal your new beginning i'm telling you they don't want to see you happy and they get so mad and offended when you say this and they that's when they be trying to threaten you i'm gonna unalive you i'm gonna do this this queen of wands she's trying to like uh, like take your tooth again tooth for tooth it's like she's trying to find a way to take your tooth she wants you to experience whatever she's trying to put out there towards you first it's like she's trying to scare you too star seeds some of y'all listen to music. It's going to help calm you down. I feel like she's trying to mess up with your, with your energy so you won't even be able to listen to music. All right, and, and relax. She could, I'm forgetting she's sending, like, spirits, like, entities, like, demons, all right, to cause you discomfort. You know, you will be unpeaceful, all right, not in peace, all right? And I'm also hearing rest in peace. You see, this person is trying to do a lot of spells to unalive you, and they're being circled back around onto her. They could be, being, they could be transmuted into, like, other endings, other deaths, like stability, you know, work money all right but that's warnings for her ass like she needs to stop because soon she's gonna lose fucking everything she needs to leave you alone and just set herself free from her delusion all right because i i see you guys already in the nine of pentacles you're set free you're heading towards your prosperity i don't want to you know dive into this drama too much she's drama filled that's just what it is and she can't get it out of her head her fear She's afraid of you may unalive her. She's crazy. But like I said, I don't want to dive in. She talks about you a lot. I can't unsee it too in my cars. She's facing karma for the things that she's saying about you. Maybe that's how you know. Are right, you knowing it's a part of her karma? She thinks she's going to get away. And you knowing it's like a part of karma. She's trying to say, you the seven of swords. You being sneaky. You skimming. She's afraid of like, listen, whatever she did to you, she's afraid of it backfiring. And making her look like the scam artist, the con artist. That's who she is. She's a con artist. She's a liar. She's delusional. Okay, I'm seeing Pisces here. Y'all could be a Pisces or this is a Pisces watching you. Very delusional. All in their imagination. Neptune is retrograde. So reality checks is, ha is happening. All right, listen, this person is spying on you. That's the problem. They don't see how it's a problem. You know, as far as, like, them watching, they don't see how that's a problem. How is that a problem? Like, how is that not a problem? Like, every time they look at you, they spy, look you up, they're getting triggered. Like I said on my community damn put, um, board, okay? Listen, they're watching to see you fall, though, Star Season. That shit is circling back around on them. That whole thought. They seeing shit in their third eye that they, they have never seen before, and they're afraid. They are scared. They seeing towers. They're seeing towers. Yeah. For some of you guys, y'all could be having shocking epiphanies. It's like you're knowing and picking up on what these people trying to manifest. Okay? They're trying to, like, scare you. This is some scary, demonic shit, though. They shouldn't be doing this. They should be living their life free. They shouldn't be doing all this demon. I could see the demon coming out of them. I could see it. You can see demons all within their whole life. Like, their destiny. Like, they're just surrounded by demons. That's what I'm seeing. Like, their family... All right, this person could have went through a lot in their past they don't want to admit to. All right, they could have went through some dark ish in their family and they don't want to admit to that. They're not learning their lesson. They may think that they are and they're not. They keep doing rituals. They keep gossiping, talking about how they're going to slow you down, cause you heartbreak, send you karma. These people are sick in the head. I felt it. They shouldn't be doing this stuff. Somebody could be telling them this. The spirits could be telling them this. You shouldn't be doing this. This is why they frantic. They're trying to scare you. For a lot of you guys, they're seeing stuff that, you know, they don't understand why they seeing. Why they seeing it. These people are crazy trying to manifest this nonsense. I was seeing it these past few days. These karmics trying to manifest hardship. You going to jail and all this extra stuff. They're like, because they feel like whoever they're communicating with is going to help stop your life. These people should not be targeting you. You do not know these people. They're trying to say like you stalking them. You targeting them. You, you like this random stalker. Like They're trying to make it seem like you're a stalker. You're stalking them or you do know them. You're trying to get close with them. That is, they're trying to make it like they're creating a lie. It's a whole lie, Star Seeds. This shit don't make sense. They should not be targeting you, Star Seeds. It's, that's why it's not going to work. This came out in reverse. It's never going to work. You're anointed and protected. Them trying to taint your soul with like with 
poisonous energy this false king of cups here it's not going to work here somebody from your past just won't let you go they have an axe to grind it could be a false lover it's never going to work people are telling them this it's not going to work a queen of pentacles is even told it's never going to work she wants it to work these people are losing their minds. It's like they came onto this planet with their mind loose already. Running around with their chicken, with like a chicken with a head. Come on, they, they're scared of the law. They're like trying to do spells so the, you know, their spells won't backfire. Karma won't hit them or the law enforcement won't come after them. All right, this person's intuition is wrong. It's wrong, 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 wrong. And she's trying to scare you to make you believe your intuition is wrong. And you're going to go to jail for something that you didn't even fucking do. You're trying to plant some type of bad seed on somebody. It ain't going to work. It's going to backfire. It's going to create a bad fucking tree for you and your garden, karmic. All right, it's like this person trying to put something on you, pin you, set you up for some shit. This karmic intuition is wrong. All right, she's a karmic. She's karmic. This is why her intuition is wrong. She's karmic. She's not telling every fucking thing. She's not telling the full truth about you guys either. About how you guys rejected and kicked her out of your energy. And, and told her off about herself. Like, get out of here. These people are karmic, y'all. They don't want to see you as the empress. They're hating on you. That's what, also what they're forgetting to say. Is that they see you as the empress, but they don't want to see you like that. They feel like you should be put down or you should step down god shouldn't give you what you get out of here like you sound jealous and karmic man they like telling on themselves and they it seems like they like to do that every time they talk about you these people do not want to see you as the empress i said i do not want to get in this drama but i'm i'm getting full-blown karma like this is like fire hot ass karma like fireballs all right boom 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 like this person they could be in a hell state man and y'all just could be feeling all this shit. And it could have been knocking you off balance. And it could have been because this person was trying to send you karma. But it's on them and you feeling this shit. You feel where it's coming from. It was never going to work on you. But these people try to really scare you. Start listening. You're a star. A lot of you guys transmuted a lot of that. You're recovering. These people are bad people. They're bad. The more that they do wicked to you, the more they get exposed and the more people see it. They are bad person. These people could be, they could, they could, have, they could be sheep or asleep. Okay, they, they are not awake. They're, they're half asleep or they're fake woke. They could be fake woke. And I feel like their little sheep that they have following them is waking up to their little fake woke ass. They just want to seem intelligent. They just want to seem smart, seem intuitive, seem spiritual just to put on like they better and, and you should listen to them. But really, they're not for unity. They're not even a friendly person like that. They don't open up to people. They always say how they don't open up, but they expect everybody else to open up to them. They want everyone to tell them about their insecurities and their shadows, but they don't want to talk about shit that they're going through. they like, I can handle it myself. All right, y'all can handle it yourself, and they don't like that. They want to intervene. They know that you're strong and confident. You can handle things on your own. I'm seeing Oshun again. Oshun is around you guys. This karmic, this wicked karmic definitely could be trying to use Oshun to fight you, and it's not working because she loves you. All right, some of y'all could be working with Oshun. So what? This karmic got a problem with that? All right, listen, they they got a problem with themselves. Whatever problem they got with you is a problem with themselves. They shouldn't be working with Oshun the way that they're working with her to try to weaken you. That's whack. That's weak. And you look very mannish and very masculine, karmic. You need to really chill. Instead of talking about other people, you need to check yourself first. All right, explain to people why divine feminine and masculine don't want to F with you no more. Why they could be reacting or responding the way that they are. All right, why? Why you don't want their feelings to be valid? Why you want them to feel like, you know, they shouldn't be mad, they shouldn't be upset because you're not getting your way? You acting like a kid, and then when somebody tell you about yourself, you want to get even more mad, that's when you want to start sending your, de your death threats or start conspiring, plotting to try to take somebody out. All right, because you're mad you're scared that more stuff going to get exposed you shouldn't be doing these type of things in the dark this is your lesson let it go be grateful that your life is still spared all right and i don't care if you feel this way that has nothing to do with me it's not us it's you you betraying yourself it's self-sabotage this is self-sabotage you're sabotaging yourself man trying to come after somebody that's obviously an elite all right, I'm here an elite and stronger, okay? You guys are an elite and you're a lot stronger to, than them. You're a strong elite here. You're not no damn false bullshit-ass elite. You're a real deal elite. One of God's scions. You're a real deal scion. That's not a joke, okay? People, if, 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 and people got to understand this. If you don't understand something, just ask. Don't sit up here and jump to conclusions and think you know everything because all you're going to do is make yourself look bad and give that person who you're trying to jump to conclusions on, you're just giving them, you know, open road to freedom. 
Because they got nothing to do with all that extra stuff. You should just ask the damn question. This false queen of cups knows she got other people doing magic on you. She's the main practitioner telling other people how to attack you. They all are like a group. Don't I see you doing it. Don't splash everywhere. I feel like everyone who she attracts have karmic energy. It's, and, it's, and it's funny because she gets along with the ones who have all this karmic grudgeful energy. She loves to gossip with people who she know will listen to her. And those are the people that's in grudgeful karmic sad depressed energy they all listening to her dumbass they don't know any different they in the five of swords they want to win at all costs over you they want to be like you low-key these people need to get out of your energy they need to grow up okay the number 19 18 20 is significant 18 19 20 i see these people trying to manifest wicked and they're getting caught look it's backfiring they trying to say that's that's not backfiring it's not what i mean it's backfiring yes it is because we're free spirit all right, we we our spirit is free. You feel it backfiring? It's all in your damn head. You shouldn't be doing this type of spells. It's gonna backfire naturally. It's not. We're not doing it on purpose. No, it's it's backfiring naturally. All right, and the ancestors sending it back too. Okay, and their um shadows being sent back. Listen, they got a lot of karma coming for them. This is why they they already lost their spirit, and they know that. They can feel that. And they want to try to blame you for it. I'm done with this dumbass drama. Okay, let me put my cards back. All right, it's a waste of time. This person is a waste. Of, if law enforcement listening to this person, they're wasting their time because this person's intuition is wrong. And I feel like they know that. They know this person is, is, is BS. You have rights as well, Starseeds. Don't forget you have rights. These people cannot just get you arrested. All right, you have rights, okay? And they trying to get you investigated so you just get arrested or something like on a warrant. That's not going to happen. All right, nice try, but fail, okay? You got to have some hardcore, hardcore proof and evidence. These people, they're sad. They're, over, they're trying to overthrow you by taking your strength, your purpose, all right? All that from you, your masculine. You're not going to overthrow us. What is wrong with you? Karmic, move on. Every time y'all trying to move on, this mofo coming here blocking you. He, I need your help. And every time you say bye, they want to try to come right back and get with the past. Look what you did to me. That's why I'm like this because of what you did to me in the past. They don't want to talk about they have their own freaking free will. Nobody can make them do nothing. All right, they chose to be a manipulator. They chose to do magic and the shit is backfiring, period, point blank. This person is really trying to scare you. They're effed up. I could feel it. I could feel it. And other people could feel it too. They trying to scare you. And other people too about you. This person did magic because they holding the grudge and they trying to restrict you. They're really trying to hold you back. They're, they're, listen, it's backfiring. They're very spiteful too. Every time it backfires, even when you say it, because it's the truth, they get mad. This is someone that don't, they, the truth burns them up. This false masculine and a feminine that's in her masculine energy, the truth burn they ass up. Karmic. They're whole karmic. They're evil-minded. They have this evil, nasty energy, this karmic energy. You can feel it. They're karmic. There's a whole karmic case that this karmic is trying to open up against you. And that's why the shit is ending. It's failing because it's karmic. It ain't supposed to be there. And you know the truth. The truth is it, the, the fact that you know the truth is what got this person stressing. And this is why they're watching you. And whatever energy they claim they're yes. feeling from you is really their own energy because they entrap with their own fucking energy. They spiritually entrapped. They're not a free spirit. They can't pick up on nobody. It's your intuition that got them feeling like they wrong because they thought they was right about you and you know everything about what they're doing. I see the pizza. It's like the mere fact that you know, all right, and they claim and feel intuitively that you don't know makes them feel like they wrong because you are wrong. You need to reevaluate things, Karmic. You really need to reevaluate things and get your shit together. I feel like it's best if you just walk away, walk away from the graveyard spells, walk away from the spirits, walk away from conjuring, period. It's not working for you. Stop opening up portals because the portals is, 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 is open on, on your side. It's not open over here. They're working with portal magic. It's like they're not even like... What I'm seeing is like how they're trying to open up portals. It's just not right. And it's not that's not how you open up portals. You get what I'm saying? You're not supposed to open it up that way. However they're doing it, it's just wrong. It's one thing if you want to open up a portal for prosperity to flow in, blah, blah, blah. But you're trying to open up portals for monsters to come in and stuff. You're not working with the proper stuff. It's just not working. They're not even getting the shape of the damn portal right. They're not even getting it open. They're not, they don't know if they want to open a door. All right, they want to free. They don't know what they want to do. They don't know how they're going to open up that portal. They don't even know how to open it. That's what I'm honestly getting. They don't know how to open it. They don't know what they have to do. Okay, because certain portals, you know, they look different. They don't know how to open up the portal. They don't know what to do. All right, and you guys, y'all can clearly see 
this person know you intuitive you may even know you know how to do it because you're, you're you're a gatekeeper they want to steal that gift you can't do that listen you and your masculine are okay they trying to keep y'all separated and they think it unalive and one of y'all is one of the be best thing these people are witches they're karmic witches let me be clear they're karmic witches don't allow no one to stop you from waking up don't allow no one to block you okay like honestly these people are left down the cold by the spirits they they walk listen these people lost their way they lost their spiritual way a long time ago that's why they they fall off a deep the deep end it may not look like it they may not it may not seem like it to certain people but they're going to soon wake up to it like i said these even their sheep is waking up i'm hearing she waking up you she divine feminine you're waking up that's that's what these fucking aliens saw on in the in space oh she's waking up send reinforcements that's when all these karmics came these reptiles these reptilians grays negative anunnaki and such they don't know who they are they think they palladians Lyrians. Y'all, they about as the lowest vibe fuck, freaking ever. They they low vibe. They're, they're, they're not that. They're grays, tall grays, and reptiles. This is why they're trying to unalive us because we exposing them for who they are. And they don't like it, and it's never going to work. Whatever they thought worked in the past life, well, guess what? It didn't. We in, 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 we're, we're getting justice. Whatever you did to us in the past life that was unjustified, we're getting justice this lifetime, period. Bam. Success on our way look justice justice y'all see that it says justice y'all remember my shoulder that shoulder with the two of wands and justice justice is on the way bam because you're anointed soul everything's going to always work out for you listen god gives and offers to you god offered this prize this pinnacle prize to you to your soul this seed was made for you not for this karmic all right this karmic don't even know who god is hmm Yeah, I'll help you. I'm seeing this person trying to make swaps and changes and stuff. It's not going to work. All right? It's not going to work. But God gave this pinnacle, pinnacle prize to you guys and only y'all. This is to make, meant to make you blessed and you're heading towards that future. You see, this person should never judge a book by its cover. Because you may look raggedy in their eyes. But you want a guy's anointed prizes. Okay, go get a... Alright, go get um, Go get a, a tissue. A tissue ass. You don't got no more wipes. They may look at you as a child or childish. But you really an anointed soul. They did graveyard spells on you. To lock you up because you a high priestess. You know everything. For a lot of you guys, you're not saying anything. It's them that's talking mess. All right? And then it's like, I feel like the only thing that you're saying is the truth. You're speaking the truth. That's what that is. The truth is hurting them. This king of pentacles don't like it. He's a false king of pentacles. But you're not spilling none of their secrets. You're just talking about what they did to you. But they trying to hide it and make it seem like they ain't do nothing to you. No, yes, they did. And that's what it is. They just need to admit to what they did and let and let it go and set themselves free. All right? Things is backfiring because they won't set themselves free from you, Starseeds. That's just simply what it is. They need to leave you alone and let you go and, and follow their good heart. If their good heart feels that they should just end this and let you go, they need to, to, to just make... They need to listen to that. Severed whatever heartache, betrayal that they're feeling coming from you reject that basically and just do the right thing it's not hard doing the right thing it's only hard when you want your way or you're getting childlike and you want to go against the grain doing these death spells on you it's karmic they was not supposed they, they were doing a lot of heavy magic a lot of heavy magic karmic spells and, and listen you were shielded from all that your ancestors like i ain't worrying you good let them take a leap of faith hold on me know. Your ancestors like let them be foolish and try to come and attack. They going a whole another direction. They thinking they hitting us. Look, they falling off the deep end, literally falling off that cliff, and that's meant to slow them down. They may even get into um an accident. Yeah, I see that. Tower Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, it's karma. It's their karma. Star seeds. All right, they better look within. All right, to really find out what's happening with them with this chaos that's happening in their life, because it's not you, it's not your childish Mom. ass, since you all childish, it's not you. 
all right you may look like a child but within you you're a huge temperance earth angel being all right they should never judge you this is what they get for judging you you're chosen wow. chosen by divine love all right a chosen lover you have a chosen lover that's your counterpart all right and they trying to keep him hidden here they're trying to make you feel like you know you're not good enough to have a divine counterpart y'all listen i don't feel like the cards is going to answer your question with your divine counterpart you need to trust your soul and your spirit and trust you know those soul memories that you have you'll know if it's your person because you're going to start having like soul activation right away like you're going to start having like soul memories like you're going to start remembering things from like a past life that heart that flame within the heart space is going to activate you're going to feel it trust me you're going to feel it trust me you want to know the cards is not even going to be like you're not even going to need the cards you just like spirit is going to like confirm it to you as well all right but you're not going i don't feel like the cards are going to answer any of those questions you just need to trust in and in, in, in trust in faith have faith this that's what this karmic is not doing she may be pulling cards every day to find out who is her divine masculine is it this new guy who she's gonna go out on a date with no it's not him all right he probably not even on earth okay child stop let's see what else come out you guys stand out you an inspiration that stand out this is why you're being blessed with this this brand new beginning you deserve this yeah these people claim they believe in magic black magic they know black magic is not really what people say it is and they was doing it against you that's how they truly feel about magic and they could even say that to somebody and you healing they see that you have healing magic healing a healing aura healing abilities you a fairy of healing they're jealous of that they feel like they on top though they feel like they better than you like their magic got them to where they are today and they way better than you your magic and getting you nowhere it's like it's not a competition you focusing on protecting yourself you're celebrating because you protected against their damn unalive spells you're not worrying about all the extra material shit you more grateful for the fact that you're protected all right your soul is, is set free your, your kids is protected and fine your home is fine all those all those damn flies is getting out of your space that's what you focus on you don't really care about all that material stuff because you know everything's going to happen in divine timing and it's all integrating and a new life does not happen overnight okay even if your life changed overnight you were getting prepared for it low-key all right that's why you know certain people when right before life changes they'll just be like damn i just felt something you know or that's why this that and the third you know it's like it's always something that was off that caused a little al unalignment that prepared them for that new beginning all right and this is why y'all going through all this fuck shit all right because your life is changing right before your very eyes all right changes happen every day every 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 day your life changes literally literally we wake up to a new life like to um a whole new life even if you may feel like the energy is the same, you know, but the energy is reset. We just got to make it tangible and start. Well, make, not make it tangible. We'll take control of it and start, you know, manifesting with that energy and, and making it tangible. Yeah. <laughs> Doing whatever we got to do. All right. But you're protecting. Your protection stand out. And with this hidden death, I feel like these people are trying to keep you in a sunken place. These mofos in a sunken place, they don't realize you protected from that spell. All right, they don't want you to see that you protected. They want you to see that you unprotected. That's how, that's what they seeing. That's what they seeing. That's how they feel. They see themselves going to jail and everything. So they want you to see yourself going through that. You going through fucking trauma for what they did. Ain't no way you going to jail for something that they did, Starcy. They can't. It's almost like, you know, you taking the fall for their crime. And, and your hands, is not, there's no fingerprints. You was nowhere involved in that. There's no way they can say you did it, but you didn't do it. There's no ties to you unless they trying to, you know, plant shit to make it seem. But like, no, that's just not the case. They can't do that. They can't do that. Divination, listen, I feel like their magic is helping you flourish, to be honest with you. Whatever they're doing to pray against you in the shadows, it's, it's helping you glow up. Because it's being transmuted, sweetheart. Ain't nobody stealing your energy. It's being transmuted, idiot. And you don't got to tell these people what you do as far as like, you know, your sacred magic. That's sacred. It's like if you feel like, you know, you want to share things like how I do, then that's fine. But as far as like what you do specifically, 
what ancestors you work with specifically we all know about orisha this and the third but how you work with them that's none of their fucking business they need to expose how they working with them first how they pulling cards and tapping the people energy first before they try to expose somebody for their divination skill bitch you're jealous that's just what it is and you're taking it too seriously you're taking this divination gift too seriously it's like have you you never had gifts before you just got these gifts? Like, come on now, stop it. Because if you really, truly gifted in the past life, you won't be all like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Like, stop. Y'all want to say I act crazy because I'm, I'm expressing the fucking truth. That's how y'all feel. Karmics, your divination stand out. Listen, this person trying to say, oh, you do magic. You do magic. Look, they just want to fucking tempt you to make you tell on yourself. And say, oh, you know, you doing magic on them. It's like, like I said, there's nothing wrong with doing magic. But I feel like they're trying to like push you to, to like admit you're doing something to them. And you're not doing that. They're like trying to send the devil after you to haunt you to make you telling yourself that you're doing shit to them. You're not doing magic on them. They're trying to put that on. You're doing black magic. Oh, you're doing black magic. They're like running around in fucking circles. Crazy. Crazy as hell. Listen, this person should not be on your page, all in your energy. This person is a damn devil. They working with the devil. I told y'all. They're working like, like somebody uses the devil to protect them. Like satanic magic. All right, that shit is just whack, to be honest with you. All right, you're a queen. All right, you're impressed. They can't get you next. All right, you, you listen. Your life is protected. Your intentions are protected. Your abundance is protected. Your lunar gift is protected. Your shadow side. Always ask for help. Your angel's going to hear you. All right, these karmic, they're waiting for something to happen to them. And something is about to happen. And it ain't you pushing shit. All right, it's their own goddamn energy. All right, their own bullshit manifestations against you. They're very, this is like a motivated crime. This is a motivated crime, Star Seeds. Okay, I feel like y'all could have went through this as a child. For some of you guys... I, don't, I feel like they're trying to scare you in a child. These people are motivated. They 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 saying they seeing visions. They're seeing vision of the, of themselves unaliving you and shit. Like like it's like this is someone that's delirious, like schizophrenic. Like this is like premeditated. It's like they're seeing shit. Like this is how they're gonna do it. This is what they gotta do. This person, man, y'all protect yourselves. I I I don't I don't know why, but I'm just seeing this shit happening to them. Even though they premeditated this shit for you guys, I ain't trying to scare y'all. But that's exactly what I'm getting. I see y'all alive, all right, and well. It's, it's like I see this person trying to strike you, but it's just I'm seeing the lights turning on and this person getting exposed. All right, I'm seeing you guys celebrating here. This person gets caught. While you celebrating, this person's getting caught. All right, this person trying to unalive y'all, man, with magic, with spell work. They even try to manifest like you just randomly getting unalive by like a random stranger or some shit. Like somebody just, just getting possessed and just unaliving you. That's well y'all just keep moving forward all right y'all bless all right they better pray and hope this is like chilling this is like a chilling case honestly that's what i'm getting like chilling case or chilling cases or so i'm getting like a chinchilla as well all right sim sima what is that beanie man all right someone may get deported here listen temperance you are earth angel y'all could see things but like some of the stuff you see even scares you you guys are very successful here. Like you're a successful earth and whatever work you do is you're successful at it. And it makes you and, and, and it's a part of you being a star, inspiration. People may even say you're inspirational. All right, rather you do divination or not into deep deeply into spirituality or not. All right. But I feel like you know somebody could be trying to do curses and death spells on you in the shadows. These people really think their death spell is going to work. Like they saying somebody else is going to unalive you. They're just putting out the spell, the magic. They need to chill. They need to chill. This person needs to drink them some wine and chill. Or maybe stop drinking wine and, and go on a vacation. They need to relax. They're too, like, timid. All right? They're too afraid. I feel like it's their mind, their thoughts got them going crazy. They can't stop thinking. It's like they're in their own mental asylum. I swear to you guys. Yeah. This person is so obsessed over you and your wishes your blessings they feel like oh your wish is my wishes and they and, and they listen they're thinking that because they don't want to admit to the fact that they want what you guys have that you inspire you know you inspiring to them 
But instead of them saying that, they want to say you trying to take from them. This is someone like, like get drunk here. They get all childish. Y'all got to be careful. All right? Because this person is targeting you. I, I feel like they could be trying to send somebody else to do something. Like a hitman or something. Listen, y'all protect it. Listen, I, I feel like this person is so confused. I feel like this person can't even talk or think straight. This could be an earth sign or a water sign. This was a, somebody thought something good was going to come out of this and it didn't. Okay? Nothing grew from this. The nine of pentacles is, it, it, you know, in reverse or shadow energy, you'll be getting like stagnant. Nothing grew, nothing flourished. It was bad karma. I, I'm seeing anger. The universe is mad. This is bad karma, severe karma. This is like breaking off the scales, like final destination. Y'all going to see a lot of people, great, a lot of people going to be in the grave. There's going to be a lot of deaths coming up. All right, I'm not even going to lie to you guys. I will hope that they ain't trying to do another pandemic again. All right, but I was thinking that, but I feel like other people could be thinking that too. All right, but you see how a lot of people died around that time? All right, that's what we're going to be seeing with these karmics. But I feel like it's going to be like Final Destination, Nastro disaster, disaster type shit. It's karma, man. The universe is after they asses here. They should have made the right choice. They made so many bad choices. And I feel like it affected the planet. Okay, yes. The energy and frequency that they in affected the planet. Okay, I'm tasting like angel cake. Mmm, that's some good ass cake. Your ancestors want some cake. I'm getting Mother Gaia wants some angel cake. Do y'all give offerings to Mother Gaia or like new leaf offerings outside by like the tree or the lake or something? Leave some angel cake, please. All right, I feel like the offerings that you give into the spirits is actually good because it's helping them protect you. But like these karmics on the opposite on, on the opposite side with these karmics, they don't like that because they know that these offerings are keeping you protected and safe. But even if you didn't give offerings, they would have still protected you, but you would have had to anyways because you got to do something. You got to put in energy as well. All right, not that they could do it. Even if, you know, some people, they think, oh, they could do it even without the offering. Yeah, but it's like, how you know that they could? How do you know that? How do you know? That's why you just do it. All right. <laughs> All right, somebody bullshit could have said that, all right? But man, somebody wanted you in the grave. And and I feel like several people are going to be placed in the grave, behind playing with graveyard spells. They didn't see this coming. I'm seeing a car accident, all right? I, this may even be on the news. A whole family is going to pass away in a car accident. This may just be general news, all right? This shit is getting hot, man. Y'all just got to be careful in the energy that y'all in. And make sure you're not getting caught up in the crossfires or you at the wrong place at the wrong time. All right. Please don't trust anybody. All right. You know, just be careful. Okay. Just be mindful and be careful. Okay. But I feel like a karmic need to be careful too. All right. I feel like y'all know y'all need to be careful. I feel like some of y'all could have been in your thoughts because you feel in the karmic energy. I feel like this is what's going to happen to them stars. These a lot of y'all going to gain a lot of clarity from this confusion that y'all been going through. These people thinking about you. They trying, listen, they doing all this to try to cut you out of your happiness and your lover. All right, and this is why they're dealing with so much karma and the law as well. They're being judged by God. This is why they're dealing with God, star seeds. All right, listen, with the high priestess, I feel like you guys can see things that other, like you can see things that other people can't see or how to, your perspective is a lot higher and you're very intuitive since a child. You've always been inquisitive, intuitive, and just saw things from a higher perspective differently from other kids. That's what made you stand out. You could have stood out in kindergarten. You could have been really smart. All right, I don't, I feel like somebody could have been hating on you since kindergarten or in kindergarten. I feel like this is what's going to make you successful and achieve your, your, your third eye, your gifts here, your gifts, your spiritual gifts. This is weighing heavy on somebody's heart. Like, they really thought that, you know, they can take this blessed path from you. They're crazy. I'm telling you, this is weighing heavy on their heart. They karma. This ten of wands, I won't stop seeing it. All right, this, this situation is coming to an end. This heavy karmic cycle, all right, this karmic burden... All right, this is coming to an end. You're going to be celebrating. I'm telling you, y'all going to be going through a lot of celebration while these karmics is having their final destination moments. It's coming. They should have cleaned up the mess when they had the time and the chance. Somebody got a baby on the way. A third party karmic is severely involved in some bullshit. She's being judged. She's going to be facing the judge. She's like involved in some type of like murder, 
murder charge these damn karmas that try to like murder you they're getting caught up for that okay ace of one somebody did not know that they were secretly being watched or or investigated or they was they didn't know that they was going they were secretly going to get caught by law enforcement or something like that yeah somebody think they're just going to sit back and watch you fall apart i feel like you guys are seeing what they're trying to do and you are protecting yourself i feel like yeah somebody trying to manifest this for you for you to get like gun pointed by law enforcement okay or take out resonate all right or the cops will just pop up where you are all right this person they doing spells on you overnight here and they're being sent back. This Queen of Wands don't realize she got a lot of spell work on her back. Somebody is going to get like, like a pop-up from the police or some shit like that. All right. Knight of Swords. I see the cops pulling up. Yeah, Queen of Cups. Listen, somebody want to talk to you because of your intuition. Like, what do you know? Yeah, listen, you was recommended by somebody. And somebody is coming to you for a reading. The police may want to question you to see what you know, to see, like find out what you heard about such and such. Somebody's going to try to like question you about something. All right. I feel like God is protecting you in this. Yeah. The, the, listen, a devil tried to set you up and they try to get you questioned or interrogated by the police. I don't see y'all getting questioned or interrogated by the police that way. I feel like y'all going to be asked questions by the police to try to help figure out a crime, figure something out for them. All right, this devil is going down. They may even ask you questions about this damn devil. Like, what do you know about this? Tell me what you know. You get what I'm saying? And that's it, all right? Suspect and question. These karmas trying to make you seem like you a suspect. These, it's like, I feel like law enforcement can see, all right, that this person is trying to put you down as a suspect. Or they, that's what they could be blatantly saying. And, they, and it's like, they need to find out things from you first. They just can't, like, you have rights. Feel like you have like a lot of rights strong rights here like this person trying to make it seem like you strongly in the wrong but i feel like you're strongly in the right and it's not a, I'm, I'm not even just getting like to make it seem like you guys are right because y'all my collective like this person should not be doing this like i said they're being childish they're being child like they're playing games they just want to see if it's going to work so i'm gonna lie on divine feminine i'm gonna lie just to see because i don't give a fuck no more i'm just tired of dealing with people that just get their way and i don't this is like an angry demon that was like thrown on earth because of their karma i'm telling you this is a gray those grays they have a lot of karmic debt here that's why a lot of them incarnate all right this is a gray they did a lot of heinous crimes to humanity look what they're look what they're doing all right this is what they're stressing over oh my god i'm committing crimes to humanity you are you are I see somebody trying to get you set up and it ain't going to work. These are people you walked away from. They're trying to get you exposed. There's nothing to expose here. Unless you say some shit, there's nothing to expose. You say something about you or whatever you're doing, like there's nothing to expose. yeah this person tried to sacrifice you it blew up in their face all they did was just grand bless your destiny tenfold here why they keep trying to make things backfire on you tenfold what are they doing what are y'all doing karmics what are y'all truly doing here tell me what are you doing at divine feminine doorstep all right in the astral what are you doing you all scared and frantic and in a frenzy what are you doing all right, listen, Hangman Tower, this is bad. They're trying to, like, destroy your, your destiny double. It ain't going to work. Sacrifice you and destroy it. Like, God damn, what the fuck you trying to do? Choose one. All right, both is not necessary. First of all, and it's not funny. If y'all think this shit is funny, it's definitely going to be funny when, when your ass is laid out somewhere. You, uh, you will hope people won't laugh at you. Like, oh, look how they died. Ha <laughs> ha, that shit ain't funny. People around them is acting two-faced with them, but they want to try to put that on you. Oh, it's you fucking with me, blah, blah, blah. and they telling people about this, and people looking at them like they stupid. People's like, it is not you. It's their little dumb ass. They need to fucking cut you off if you this bad person. They need to stop talking about you. They trying to say it's hard because you messing with their head. No, they messing with their fucking head. God is messing with their head. It's their karma for trying to come towards you with some bullshit-ass offer that they knew was meant to work against you. This person ain't your friend. 
all right they are karmic they were trying to set you up this whole time i'm getting strong set up energy all right i'm getting strong set up energy y'all ain't about to be over here getting set up and shit king of wands three of pentacles yeah it could have been the masculine trying to get you set up this is some this is stupid you ain't about to sit up here it's not gonna work they thinking it's gonna work all right y'all listen this is why y'all don't trust nobody stay in the hermit energy stay in the hermit energy all right even if people ask to invite you somewhere just be like i'm good i'm staying to myself right now all right like honestly because i'm seeing the people you walked away from they're delusional they want to still snake you all right this false king of cups all right someone it's, it's, it's the person you moved away from you moved on from all right it's like they're nervous of you to have this breakthrough this blessing this new beginning this financial blessing but it's already on the way all right you're going to be more than just the queen of pentacles you're also the empress listen they try to stay they pay somebody to, to hang you this is some bullshit this is some bullshit some bull bull bullshit all right it's not gonna work they need to go paint a new story all right all these lies that they telling law enforcement other people they need to they need to try again not try again they need to stop trying and try something new you stand out you're gonna always stand out you're an alchemist all right sugar spice everything nice you're a star all right you guys are just awesome you always win look at all these ribbons you always win in first place you always win in first place over these damn karmas. You always get the number one prize that's just who you are you're number one just like other number ones you're not the only one that is number one there's other number Ooh, i don't know why i put death here okay but there's other chosen ones like you that's very achieved but you know they trying to um unalive a chosen one that's bad they really think something good gonna come out of this all right because they're not chosen but i see with this death i see like a light all right that's that new beginning like your death is like a whole new beginning you're a scorpio for some of you guys or an aquarius you're special you're special star seeds you're special these idiotic people see how special you are they're like fucking flies they're dying they know they fucked up in life and they need to just admit that and stop bothering you because you're protected they need to admit that you're protected and their spells ain't working all right, but you're special, star seed. You guys are a special star. You guys are magnificently special. See this rainbow energy around this protection card? This is your light. Your light keeps you shielded and protected. You keep speaking your truth. Don't let them confuse you. These people don't want to die, but yet they want to project to you that you want to... Well, they don't want to They don't want to be unalive, but they want to project to you that you want to be unalive. That's not fair. You get what I'm saying? They want to project to you, oh, you falling apart. You ain't nobody, but you know... When somebody say something about them that they don't like, they want to get mad. You get what I'm saying? Like, come on, they can't do that. If these people are playing around with death, death is going to be upon them. Period. Point blank. I mean, we all have that time. We all have that special day. All right? So if they don't want it to happen tomorrow, next year, next week, they need to just stop playing around with death. You guys are so special. Keep working on yourself. Keep working. Keep working. Keep healing. Keep working on your starlight. I see, like, people trying to, like mold or fix your your spotlight your starlight to be a way that they like it they don't want you to shine too brightly or shine this way no you keep doing what, what you're doing all right y'all keep working on yourself and it's not a bad thing if somebody tell you to work on yourself it's not a bad thing all right people turn into a bad thing when they get in their ego all right and it's and and, and it's only you know if you're going to tell me to work on myself make sure you're not projecting make sure that you're on point all right, because you telling me to work on myself and do this and do that, and I already done did that. So what it is? So, so what's really your issue with me? You get what I'm saying? Maybe you got to deal with your karmic that way because I feel like that's what it is as well, okay? It's a whole group of them that's, like, trying to project you need to do this or do that, all right, as far as healing, and you done did that or you don't need to do that. That's their energy. They need to stop projecting. Could have been an ex projecting. A lot of people are projecting, and they're talking about you a lot, and they don't, they don't expect you to know. Cause you're not around them but you pick up on it you are intelligent as well you're the queen of swords you're intelligent okay seven of um pinnacles you see listen y'all keep investing in yourself I feel like you guys are i see you guys investing a lot of money and i also see you guys accumulating a lot of money okay you could have invested a lot in your work and you're going to accumulate a lot I see your hard work paying off, Starseed. 
I see it paying off. It's like whatever you're investing in is working out. Like you are working on it's working out. Wow. This justice, I'm I'm almost getting from the universe. Like this better work out for you. Bless you. It's like the universe is is enforcing for for this energy to work out. Whatever you're working on. And and, and enforcing these karmics to get out of your energy. They're dumb. They need to go focus on their self. Period. The universe is not playing. People are people are not playing either. Whenever this karmic come with they bullshit, people in the divine is gonna be giving that energy of focus on yourself, work on yourself, stop worrying about people. All right, and thinking about how you're gonna take their life because you don't like that they're focusing on there ain't cool. It's gonna lead you right to where you are now, or and in the worst of place. All right, they getting their behinds whooped. They should not be trying to steal your candy, and they full of delusion. All this delusion with the seven of cups. They just drinking, drinking, drinking. This is what I was getting on my shorts. Look, delusion. A karmic is like getting their ancestors drunk. I'm telling you. They even getting their little spirit baby turned up, giving them whatever they need to get them turned. All right, and I saw about like nine cups lined up. And then I throw the nine of cups. That's somebody that overindulged. That could be a drunk. They're getting their ancestors drunk to attack you. All right, this karmic is they're not going to believe what's about to happen to them. It's like it was very unexpected. This energy is going to be very unexpected for them. They're not going to expect this. They're not going to expect it. They're not going to see it coming. This person is delusional. That's why they're in the dark. They got the past. Their past wounds, grief, pain, and whatever energy they got towards you that they're holding on to, that grudge, that's tied with the past, that's what's clouding their judgment. They, they don't realize that you have a new beginning. You have your new pinnacle already. All right? This whole group is not going to take you down. All right, whatever they're doing with the ancestors and Ogun is not going to work because you connected with your Igunguns and Ogun. All right, it's not going to work. They need to stop trying you. There's a will with your name on it. I'm telling you, your ancestors left a will for you, even a spiritual will. You're connected. That's just what I'm going to get. That's, I mean, that's just what I'm getting with this Two of Cups. You're connected with the universe, the divine. Your divine counterpart as well. But I'm getting like a spiritual connection. This person don't like the fact that you are connected and you still know about their bullshit. Okay? Like you you haven't forgotten the past. This person been trying to get you caught up in law enforcement in the past, since the past. Since you past dealt with them, they're the devil. They're lying to the law enforcement. They're lying on the impress. They're lying on you, impress. They're lying on you. It's lies that they're telling. It's all lies. It's all lies, star seeds. It's lies. Capricorn, Libra, um, Taurus, and energy. They're a liar. All right, Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. So I feel like this person is stagnant and stuck here. Six of Pentacles in reverse, and they're not receiving what they want. This is why they're lying on you. They want to know why are you lying? I mean, why am I lying? Yeah, why why I gotta lie on divine feminine? It's because you're stagnant. Things are slowed down for you, and you're not receiving what you want. You're receiving bad karma. That's the only thing that you are receiving is a whole bunch of bad karma. This person trying to pull your damn tooth. I'm telling you. They're trying to pull your tooth. Tooth for tooth. I'm telling you guys. Is that a tie with a saying? Okay, but this person, I feel like they're trying to seek a wider audience. Somebody wants more views. This could be a um, an influencer online, a reader online. They're a fool. They should have never did this. This is what they're going to be saying in the end of their journey. They should have never did tarot. All right, because I feel like they're attacking everyone, including you, because they want a wider audience, and they feel like you're taking the space. I don't see how you are, but that's what they said. They, and they sacrificed you for no reason, for nothing. They didn't even have to do that. They actually did a, a sacrifice spell. Yeah, an offering. Page of Pentacles, yeah. And they thought the spirits were going to work quick, fast, in a hurry for the asses. And the spirits said, um, no. Five of Cups, no. And they got them depressed. The spirits could have took their damn soul to stop them from doing this shit. But they, they, I feel like they got demons all around them that got them uncontrolled. Okay? I feel like the spirits took whatever power they once had. They can't call in the spirits no more. They don't even feel confident. This person is very much wounded and weary with this Nine of Wands. All right, they're putting on like, you know, they can do it all. But this ladder is not going anywhere. They're just going to fall. They got too much going on, Starseeds. 
This person got demons on them and the spirits is not protecting them against their demons. They can't see how the spirits took their souls or taking their life. All right, a lot of people can't see stuff that, that happens to them anyway because they in denial. All right, the spirits can very much work their rituals against them if they choose so. And I feel like they already did. This person think that they're chosen and they're not. That's why they're mad. All right, this person is confused. They're confused. They're confusing the card meaning. Somebody could be like, they could be like a reader. And they could be like, you know, reading the cards. But the cards is not saying that. You get what I'm saying? Like, even if it's like the three of cups, right? And they trying to say, well, you know, I don't read reversals. But when I'm getting like how they, like how I say it, right? All right, trying to be like me. Any karmic here trying to be like me. But it's like, whatever they're saying about the card don't even match up the three of cups. Reverse or upright. You know what I'm saying? They're like, they're just reading the cards wrong. Okay? And this is a whole group. I'm telling you, three of pentacles, three of cups. It's a whole damn group. That's nervous and weary, weary of you telling the truth. You already done did, though. That's why they mad. And you you exposing more of the truth. All right? Listen here, man. You an ancient old so wise soul with this higher fan. Page of Wands, they're very childish. They're juggling. Somebody's juggling two kids. All right? And, they, and, that, and they're mad. Like, they want child support or some shit like that. Somebody could be trying to say, you juggling two kids, and, and, and that's why you going to God for help. What's wrong with that? If you are juggling with your two children, what's wrong with that? The fuck? They, they just spiteful, and they're evil. They're just evil. They're just evil because they're not getting what they want. They haven't gotten what they want in, in years, lifetimes, lifetimes, okay? They may come on this earth and have their little window, their time of happiness, but it closes very quickly. They need to find happiness from within. Material is not going to give them their happiness. They may feel like material is going to give them their happiness. And it's not. They may feel like a divine masculine is. But if they're not happy from within, that man is not going to make, make them happy. Even if that is their counterpart. All right? I feel like you guys are receiving good karma. You guys could have received your divine masculine. Or he's on the way. Yeah, he's on the way. Or or you already have him in your life. He He's walking. I'm getting If he's not in your life yet, he's walking away from an old cycle. He's stepping in a new cycle with you. All right, yeah, that whole cycle just ended, came to an end, and he's moving on with you here. Yeah, and I feel like he feels a more stronger gravitational pull with you. All right, and I feel like the, it's protected, too. I feel like these karmas are trying to block that, though. They're trying to confuse the energy and say that it's something else. These karmas are so evil. Don't listen to what these karmas got to say when they say, my intuition is, my intuition said it's a third party. It's not a third party. All right, this bitch just wants you to break up with your person, or it could be a he. They want you to lose everything that's in store for you with your divine counterpart. All right, your person just don't think that y'all twins, but they can feel it. They can, they see it. They know it. It's a whole special. It's like y'all can even admit that this relationship with your new person is like it feels right. You know, it feels like different. It's like it feel like it. You know, you maybe at times you get confused and you may feel like oh, it's the same, but it's really not. Okay, it's really not the same. Okay, there could be some damn mirroring there all right i don't know but i feel like it's definitely not the same it's definitely different even if okay let's just say your ex like like music and then this your new lover love music that the love for music is different the talent the taste is different so the vibe and the energy is different all right and a lot of us can drive but we all don't drive the same you know we and we are we supposed to be intuitive drivers okay so it's like our intuition is going to work differently on the road from other people you know what i'm saying so it's like don't be all in your head thinking that this ain't your person they i feel like these people want you to reject your person they trying to bring conflict they don't want a new baby they don't want you to be more enlightened with your person they don't want y'all to be successful because y'all meant to have a successful path here it's like this is someone that wants you to eat shit like literally like they feel like you ain't shit and i see you guys eating fine from like fine dining restaurants and stuff this person is evil they just indulge they may eat a lot or they just indulge in a lot of low vibrational energy all right they i, I feel like they go to like um voodoo parties and stuff all right there could be some going on in new orleans i'm getting and i feel like it's very low vibrational i told y'all this i feel like they're they they indulge in low vibrational magic all right and they try to be on the light side but they are off balance because they listen if they want to be in that certain light that they see you in they can't do all that death spells hexes cursing people they need to operate out of light and if they don't know how to do that they need to do some shadow work okay like period that's that's just what it is that's not hard it's not hard to do shadow work all right i mean it ain't easy but it ain't hard to like make that decision it's only hard when you pull it and run it all right 
That's what I mean. I know it. I know it can be tough, but that's not what I mean when I say it ain't hard to do shadow work. It ain't hard to just make that decision and just say, F it. I'm going to just work on myself. You already know it's going to be difficult because you haven't dealt with these things in a while or you buried them. But that's the whole point of it. A lot of people are saying shadow work is hard because they don't want to deal with their demons. All right. And it's really not hard if you set your mind up to it to not for it to not be hard. All right. And you're exceptional. Whatever mistakes you made in the past, you're still it's like that don't define you. You're still exceptional. All right. This karmic would not break your soul. They can't. They just can't do it. All right, you make a huge difference on, on this planet to the whole world, regardless of whatever mistakes you made. All right, somebody is grateful to call you a friend or a friend is grateful for you now. It's too late or they wish that y'all would have been friends. Somebody is real like fickle, all right? That's what I'm hearing, fickle or prickle, prickly, all right? With that cat, this, I'm getting like prickly. Like somebody is like, I don't know. I don't, I don't like the energy. Fickle changing frequency yeah somebody is fucking fickle as hell somebody especially as regards when loyalty's interests are offended they're fickle i'm telling you that's what i'm getting fickle with this cat is all right because prickle right what sickle as well sickle cell who have sickle cell who trying to curse your babies with sickle cell i don't feel like your children have sickle cell all right somebody's trying to pull your tooth and i keep getting that all right but fickle these people are two-faced it and they're trying to break your damn soul. I appreciate your hard work. Did I already tell y'all this? All right, God appreciates your hard work. Okay, I feel like God tell you this every day. Give things. God give things for you every day. That's why he wakes you up. I'm getting recalled. Y'all, something's going to be recalled here. Some type of food. The FDA, the FDA is going to be recalling a lot of food. Okay, somebody trying to recall your food stamp. They're, they're petty. All right, only you can mess up your EBT. Nobody else can do that shit. Okay, but I'm just being real, y'all. Honestly, because karmas be, they petty, but... Something with FDA. They're going to be calling back a lot of food. Canned goods and stuff. Even certain vegetables, meats. That's coming up soon. All right. I don't know how soon. All right. But soon. Okay. Reach for the stars. You can do it. I'm getting you can beat it. They're, listen. Spirit told the Carmen you can beat it. Spirit told all their damn demons they can beat it. All right. I'm thinking Michael Jackson beat it. And I feel like you... Yeah, it's like you can beat this karmic energy they're trying to put you in. I'm getting like beat a case. This karmic, I don't know why they're trying to manifest a case. You're, listen, you already beat this damn case, all right? I don't know why they're trying to put a, like this spiritual case. I don't know why they're trying to put like an astral case on you. Like, I don't see it happening. They're delusional, all right? They're going to get karma for this. I admire your st strength and courage. Whatever is worth doing, do it. Whatever is worth doing is worth doing well. Yeah. Keep doing well. Keep shooting for the stars. I feel like y'all had two pe two faces of people that will say, keep reaching, sis. Keep reaching for the stars. Keep doing that. And then they'll be behind your back saying how you this, that, and the third. Like, these are people that's trying to reach the top of the pyramid, reach it to the top as well. But they skipping so many lessons. They're like, like skipping lines. Yeah, they're trying to skip the line. Exactly. They need to find their own pyramid. They need to reach the top to their own pyramid. They can't try to reach the top to yours. Keep up the good work. Again, God is just telling you you got good you you got good work and keep it up. All right? You got good work flowing in the universe, all right? And and in the collective, so keep it up. Hang on to your dreams. Hang on to your dreams. Somebody's trying to say God ain't saying that. God is saying that. How you how can you like how can you say that God is saying that someone ain't doing no work because you feel like they ain't doing enough work? That's how you feel. That's not how God feel. God ain't speaking through your egotistical ass. Stop playing. Hang on to your dream. These karmas can't even see how they egotistical when they say stupid shit like that. They want to say what well, God told me to say. Stop lying on God. And they want to say we lying on God because we speaking the truth and it pisses them off. They know it's the truth too. That's the thing that really irates them. But hang on to your dreams, man. Don't let this person make you give up your dreams. F them. They trying to watch you through the TV. I see a deity watching you through the TV. This is an Egyptian deity. And I'm seeing Nef um, Nef Nefertari again. All right, Nefertiti. All right. I actually meant to say Nefertiti and I said Nefertari as well. So, I mean, hey, it's both of them. All right. Nefertiti. And then we have Nefertari. Let's see. It definitely is two different ones. Yeah. So... 
they're both watching. These karmics may, they may think that that's who they are, I'm getting. Okay? Or they think that they, like, they are, like, this queen goddess or some shit like that. Somebody could be teasing you because you know you an Egyptian queen, Egyptian goddess, like Nefertiti, Nefertari. I never claimed that, but somebody could be saying that about you. Oh, you think that's who you are? Oh, you, you think she protects you? Or you think you this Egyptian queen? Or you know that that's who you are. Never give up. Never lose the opportunity to succeed. This is what these two queens are telling you. All right, somebody could be trying to say that they're bad. They're this, they're that. They need to shut up. All right, they're mocking Egyptians. Listen, they're telling you do, do not lose the opportunity to succeed. You're meant to succeed and shine in what it is that you're doing. So continue to believe in yourself. I feel like I'm making somebody sick right now. Excuse me, look, because that truth, they just can't take the damn truth. You make me smile, all right? You never cease to amaze me. People is, like, proud. Like, they're happy for you. They're proud of you. They're, like, even happy. All right, y'all happy because I'm resonating right now? I'm in all of your many talents. Yeah, you're very talented. All right, and people is just like, you are so amazing. Like, wow, you never cease to amaze me. Your divine masculine could be saying that. All right, now, what I'm also getting is that somebody may feel like you're very talented, all right, y'all may feel like I'm very talented. Thank you. I love you guys. I'm bowing down to you guys. Thank you for the flowers. I love y'all so much. This is more than just a performance. This is this is my life, you know, like, in the sense of I take this seriously. Like, I understand how this can affect people. So I always make sure that I put out good energy and it's nothing but the truth. And I tell y'all what I see. Now, if I feel like it's unnecessary or it's just confusion, I ain't going to put it out there because that's just nonsense. All right, but... You know, spirits show me everything. I see all the case files. I read them all. All right, delusion and all. You know, I, there's no judgments here. That's why I pick up on a lot of delusion. Y'all deal with a lot of delusional shit because these karmics delusional. Not everyone can handle this high level of delusion because it will confuse them in the end. It will have them stuck. Sometimes I have to like ground for like hours just to get back in my energy because the delusion be high level. It do. All right, I am so thankful for you. People are, I'm telling you, you're receiving your flowers, like cute little notes. Some of y'all going to be wearing those cute little onesies, and I'm seeing like a onesie like a baby again. That's so sweet. All right, I'm seeing like a baby girl in a onesie. Okay, I'm seeing like a lot in y'all future. Some of y'all going to have a girl. All right, they want it to be premature. Your baby not going to be premature. All right, y'all should definitely get a midwife. And I'm seeing like your baby may be small, like six pounds, five pounds. I'm seeing your baby like five, six pounds. I ain't going to lie to you. Wow, you are still pregnant your baby may, may be about eight pounds when you give birth or you may have a full healthy baby and it could be unexpected you for some of you guys you're not gonna look big when you're carrying or are you or you're not gonna know right away for some of you guys you you're gonna you gonna be full okay but um people can't believe you're receiving your flowers look at this flowers people really love and appreciate you i feel it some of you guys are afraid to receive this love because a party i feel like you don't deserve it because y'all dealt with so much you can clearly see it's your past and you feel like your past is like haunting you in the way of like you know what if you go through this again you know you don't want to attract or trigger anyone to make them attack like as ptsd you traumatized all right let's just be real but even though you traumatized you still in this light even though you hurt they didn't take you know that light that seed of light from you you even still shining in your darkness star seeds i see it you guys are still enlightened and it's okay to be traumatized that's a part of human nature do you know we go through traumas we go through traumas in the cosmos all right like come on this is why you know we have protectors that protect the universe the divine feminine so her power her essence won't be used and abused. That's why the sacred masculine is here to protect the divine mother and his divine feminine, his divine daughter. I love the masculine. Shout out to the, the, the divine masculine. Y'all, karmic feminines, heal your traumas with the masculine so you can stop hating on other females. That's what they're masculine. Other feminines, I meant to say. And stop trying to get back to your drawing board to come up with a new plan. I'm literally seeing you. Y'all ever saw those damn movies? When they like investigating, they got this drawing board, right? And they got all these pictures and all these connections. This is what this karmic, this is what they got going on in their little cabin, in their little cave. And a whole bunch of other pictures of people. Uh, listen, this is, y'all be careful, man. These people are crazy. They fucking sick. All right? And you know why they get scared and run away? Because they know they ain't supposed to be doing this shit. Try not to be a man of success, rather become a man of value. Woman, woman, woman of value and success. That's who you are naturally. 
you came on this planet with the essence of success because you guys were successful in the past life and i feel like it was already set in stone for you to be successful period thank you for being awesome god says all right it's like you expressing god and it's awesome god loves that keep expressing yourself you are important and valued because you value yourself you didn't sell you didn't sell your soul for success you allow success to unfold for your for yourself naturally because you know success lies within true success lies within true talent lies within y'all can try to confuse me right now karmas and try to mess this up but it ain't gonna work it ain't gonna work enemy devil you guys, like I said on my shorts, y'all rose to the occasion. Y'all chose to do what the karmics didn't want to do. You chose to do the healing work, even with your bloodline, that these karmics ain't chose to do, even for their own bloodline. All right, you inspire me every day. Didn't I tell y'all inspirational? Then I just got this card today. We've been putting these cards for a few days. This is the first time I got this card. A few cards I just got today. All right, and you guys are inspiring. That's what makes you stand out because you are inspiring. You the real deal. Why you think you guys? Why you think you guys have people trying to unalive you? Because you are inspiration. You are light and they are in dark. That's just the energy. If people are awakened to energy and no energy is real, they know people that is just awakened to the truth is going to attract mofos that's hiding in the dark that want to keep people in the dark. They have this damn plan. It's never going to work. Y'all keep reaching for the stars, man. You are so brave for trying. Way to go. Yeah, you are, you are so brave for trying. Way to go. That's what God is saying. That's what, what, what I mean. And what God means as well. When we both said in that real, that short, that you guys rose to the occasion. Me and my, well, my higher self and God, right? With me. All right. <laughs> All right. You guys are brave for trying to do what these karmics are saying that you can't do. Yeah. That's a cute one. And it's like you're brave. Like I said in my shorts, you guys. You guys chose to, you know, do the work within yourself because this soul work ain't easy. This shadow work ain't easy. And the work that you're doing to, you know, shift and empower the planet is not easy because it comes with enemies like this, mofos like this. Heavy freaking spell work, right? Heavy soul work as well. It ain't easy. These comments said, no, God, I ain't doing that. I'm better than that. Or they going to some other entity that they think is God. You know, messing with soul, messing with their soul contract and stuff. All right, that could happen. Okay, karma be selling their soul on the other side too. I see it all the time. And I be having people just ask me, "What well, can you explain that?" Because I never heard. No, I'm not explaining that. You figure that out. Especially if you know within that shit is true, you figure it out. It's their free will as above the free will. It's, it's cosmic. It's not just earthly. You got to figure out how that how that operation go prior to somebody coming to earth. Yeah. Because it's not just one way. Yes. I see it. And God will approve for this karmic to come on here and try to do some bull crap. Because they think they're going to get away. They're not going to get away. God will be right there stopping them. I see it. It looks fun. Yeah, I we, like... Maybe we can go to the water park again. But, um... <laughs> all them that's being used by the devil... Mom, one of y'all on my Instagram said the devil works for God. He does. So y'all y'all selling y'all souls to these beings that y'all think gonna help y'all destroy us? They they work for the Most High. And the Most High telling... They, they telling the Most High. And the Most High is like, okay, let them be foolish and do it. We got a plan. We got to set up for them. They ain't gonna know everything. They don't know everything. You don't know everything. Even if you on the other side, you got to be high rank to see what 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 we see. Okay, you could you could be a low rank being on the other side and not see everything. You could be delusional and a liar. People need to really like understand the spirit. That's why people be out here trusting the wrong spirits cuz they don't know the spirit. Getting lied to thinking all spirits is the same. All spirits can see. But once you sell yourself over to that spirit, it can see only you. I can manipulate you, but it can't see me and manipulate me, period. Yeah. And I ain't wrong. I'm very right. I feel a karma trying to say, that's wrong. No, you wrong, because you know you're doing wicked. All right, y'all so damn expiring. You truly make this world a better place. Bam. That's a part of your role on this planet, to make this world a better place. All right, never give up because great things take time period that's all about integration that's what integration is all about 
things just you know happening naturally unfolding naturally and divine timing is also a part of integration things gotta happen in divine timing that's a part of you integrating all right you guys integrating with this new earth energy i value your contribution god said and others in the collective is saying thank you guys if y'all saying this about me i love y'all the journey of a thousand miles began with one step. Y'all taking, listen, one step at a time. You're taking it one step at a time. You're not rushing shit. They want to say, why you don't have this? Why you don't have that? Da -da 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 -da. Why you still on food stamps? Listen, success don't happen overnight for everybody. We are not fed with silver spoons in our mouth anymore. They took a lot from us. And so we got to work and grind to get it back. And that's fine because we effortless, limitless souls, beings. We can do it. The hell, there ain't no problem. All right, we ain't cheating life. They are. If anyone can do it, it's you, God said. God done chose you for this. Prior to, it even, prior to you even being on earth, God knew you could do it. Because these other karmics can't. God already knew these other karmics was going to say, no, God, uh-uh, nah. Or some of them will say that they can, but they'll come on earth and fail. A lot of souls come on earth and fail. Because they lose sight. Of who they are. If they just follow their true normal.